What's up everybody, welcome back to Selenix Crypto and welcome to this new video in which I will tell you about three cryptos that might rally soon. And with soon I mean within the next month actually, probably, I mean it's it's some are actually a little bit uh, sooner and others are probably a little bit later or have the probability of rallying later but we'll talk about all of that in this video. Um, so that's what we'll do, uh, very, very simple, I'll first uh, give you a small introduction on, on what this is kind of based on. Basically, one of the most crucial parts in crypto trading is knowing what kind of updates and what kind of events are coming up for different cryptos, right? So there are certain websites you can use for that, like, for example, Coindar, uh, so coindar.org or CoinMarketCal, so CoinMarketCap, but then the P is an L as in calendar. And there you can actually find events like these. And in this video, we'll talk about three of these events, which could actually cause rallies. So you can actually make money off of long trading and those cryptos, but also short trading them. Because in crypto, there's this phenomenon, which a lot of you probably already know about, but it's, um, it's kind of the same as buy the rumor, sell the news. So usually cryptos are bullish before an event. And then when we get very close to the event or after it has happened, usually we actually fall down doesn't matter if, it, if, if the event was very bullish or so. Like one of the examples, which I also give the, is the Ethereum merge. Uh, before the merge, we were very, very bullish, and then we actually dropped down afterwards. But all right, so we'll start off with the first crypto, and the first crypto is actually Litecoin. Yes, one of the biggest and oldest cryptos out there. Uh, but this can actually rally because the Litecoin halving is coming up. The 2nd of August, that is, you can just look it up. Just look up Litecoin block reward halving. You can find the countdown. It's in 41 days. Um, now, the most difficult thing with this is actually predicting when it's going to rally. It has already been quite bullish uh, recently. Um, and Litecoin has obviously already had a halving. So, so you're probably thinking, well, we'll just look at that. And then we know when it approximately stops rallying and when we can actually short it or when we can actually start longing it. Problem is, the only halving where we really have price action was in 2019 and then Litecoin was very bullish but it was so correlated with Bitcoin that we don't we, we cannot really measure how it performed so that's why I wanted to take a look at the Ethereum merge because I think that's closer to it to, to, to kind of being the same so what we saw with Ethereum merge is that we were actually bullish like two months before all the way up until one month before it happened then we were very bullish and if we take a look at Litecoin right now, you can see that that's kind of in line uh, in line with what's happening. I mean, right right here, for example, we were quite bullish, even though it's not the same. And Ethereum then had a second rally um, two weeks before. So that's interesting to know. And then actually a couple of days before the merge, we started dropping down. So that might be interesting for, for Litecoin. That's somewhere in July. That's what I think. Somewhere in July, I, I think we'll still get bullish momentum from the halving. And if you can accurately position yourself in the market with a long order from a great area uh, then you might actually catch that rally but that's one of the cryptos that i think is going to rally the second one is actually matic yes you heard that correctly matic that has fallen so so much uh, since february basically has only fallen and uh, and with the news we got from the sec actually calling it out as a security that obviously ha had a lot of uh, bearish impact as well but still, I actually think this is going to rally uh, somewhere in July again. The main reason uh, we'll get into, but apart from that, it's also a, a like it's also a key reason that we actually uh, drop down so much because even though the SEC named them as securities, it is 100% not confirmed that they are securities, and the lawsuits will probably take multiple years before they finish. So perhaps we are actually a little bit oversold right now. And apart from that, we are actually getting some big news on Matic. Like right now, this was posted about 10 days ago, Polygon 2.0. Basically, uh, in the next couple of weeks, they'll, they'll publish all sorts of uh, news about the token, about Matic, but also about the Polygon blockchain. The Polygon blockchain has actually been doing very well, if we take a look at some statistics. But if you want to know more about that, I would suggest watching my last Matic update. But for example, there's there's new uh, news coming out about the token the 10th of July and about governance. Just in general, that usually has a positive effect. So that combination that we are probably a little bit oversold on the one hand, but apart from that, also that we're getting some bullish fundamental news from Matic actually leads me to believe that we can actually rally pretty soon with Matic. So I would definitely keep an eye out for that uh, and try to position yourself as well. Now, the third crypto which I wanted to talk about uh, is a little bit of a different one. It's AI Doge, uh, not the pre-sale, which flopped a couple of days ago, uh, but actually ARP Doge. So Arbitrum Doge AI, 
But the ticker is AI Doge, and you can actually purchase it on quite a lot of major exchanges like OKX, Wobi, Gate.io, BitGet, Maxi. Um, but this is actually, it, it, it's interesting because the, the main reason why I expect some sort of a rally is because, uh, is because they got some great news coming up, right? So they are preparing a multi-chain token launchpad for Web3 projects, and it's estimated to be launched uh, within the next 20, 25 days. That was uh, uh, six days ago, so it's in the next 19 to 14 to 19 days. So before that, actually pretty soon, I think we can already uh, rally quite a bit. Uh, I might pu publish this video a little bit later, so you you'll have to check out when uh, when the date is. But I expect some bullish momentum, and apart from that, um, apart from this just being bullish news, and that the and that the token can actually rally because of that. Arp Doge is actually one of the meme coins that has held up pretty well. I mean, we have obviously dropped down quite a bit from our all-time highs, but if you take a look at, for example, the last, uh, basically since June, we've actually stabilized quite a bit and the community behind it is pretty strong. So that's another third token, which I think, I mean, I'm, I'm pretty sure for all of these three that they will actually rally at some point in July, probably. The big question is, is can you actually find a good uh, entry? Like for example, you could just buy it in spot and that's a little bit of a, a low risk, low reward uh, kind of way to go about it. You could also gamble a little bit more with futures, but I'll leave that up to you. For now, this was my video on three cryptos, which I think will rally pretty soon. So if you do have any questions about anything, let me know. But for now, that's the video. So thank you for watching. Take care and bye.